Hi guys, um, I just thought I, I would come on and just show you some of the process um, of me making a, a little paper sculpture. Um, this is from the, the mask that Bonnie and Clive uh, sent me for the challenge and I just a couple of days ago I just put one thin layer of paper over the mask using the same method that I did with the skull just recently so um, this one I I just want to sculpt it just a little bit I've got glue on my fingers look at me I'm just <laughs> cut that part out okay so I don't know what I was up to now um, this one here I'm just sculpting it into the shape the form that I want um, and I thought I'd come on and just show you what I'm doing I've left the the glad wrap in there that I'd covered the mask up with and I've just got some old strips of uh, the book pages here and I'm not sure if this is really the right type of paper to use but it's what I'm using you just use what you've got so this paper is it's really old book paper and I actually think it might just be a little bit too too thick for what I'm trying to do but I'm using it anyway so I want to try and make um, some kind of shape to the back of the head uh, without mucking it up so much. And I think I think I'll get there eventually if I just take my time but I thought I'd just show you some of the process um, of me making it and of course Bonnie I think she done this on purpose <laughs> she knew that I would love making um, a paper mask from the mask that she sent me and I bet you she knew that it that I'd end up using glue and you just know how much I hate getting glue on my hands I have got a protective glove on so when I do go to wash the glue off my hands it will come off relatively easy <sighs> because if that didn't happen I'd be Ew. okay so I'm just trying to get a little bit of form on the shape of his head um, and I'm using quite a bit of the glue uh, to make those papers softer And I actually think that if I, I don't know why I want the head hollow, but I don't know. Um, if I had made, um, like shoved a bit more paper or something up there, I think it would have been a lot easier to do, to go around. But yeah, let's just see how this goes for a start. See, I've put a point just there and I don't really want that point so I'm just going to I'm going to break it that's what I'm going to do <laughs> okay let's do this again there Um, I'm not gonna I shouldn't worry about that too much anyway because um, 
I'm going to have a wrap around the head so you won't see the top of it at all but I still want it like strong enough so that it, it will hold the wrap one one point just there that I'm just not real happy with just rip that off a bit so it doesn't stick out that much so, so far so good that looks pretty cool Okay, so I'm going to let that have a dry now. It's not too bad for a little bit of paper, but it does need to have a dry and when it's dried I will I'll continue on and make this part here smaller. I'm thinking now that I might actually stuff when it's dry I might stuff it with some newspaper just so that it'll keep its shape a bit better and my fingers are getting stuck to it because I've got glue on them okay so that's what it looks like so far just like a little paper mache thing heads a bit flat at the back but that's okay can handle that it'll add to its uniqueness okay let that dry and I shall be back and to show you the next part in my process I've got a lid here that I can just put that on upside down okay see you when I get back I have my head dry um, that's what it looked like there. A little bit wonky but that's okay. And I have still left that plastic, um, the glad wrap up there. So what I'm going to do now is just rip up some strips of one of our newspapers and I'm going to just roll them up and I want that head a bit firmer. Um, so I'm going to stuff it, let's move that out of the road, I'm just going to stuff the newspaper carefully up the inside of the head. I think I really need that much, but I'll put some up there. And I did, um, I did give in and go back over to our op shop just across the road. <laughs> And because I told you they had these um, styrofoam shapes over there and they had one in this triangle shape so I thought yep I'm gonna go back over and pick it up and the lady let me have it for 20 cents so that wasn't too bad I'm really I'm not sure I think they're a couple of dollars to buy brand new but that's what I decided to do because that's actually going to be the body for this head so just I might put just one more piece up there okay so I have my head stuffed now and I'm going to grab get this away 
You can feel the ink come off from the newspaper. Um, I'm going to get my my um, my what? You know, my tape tape. <laughs> my oh my goodness. Okay, I grabbed some masking tape and I also want a piece of wire as well. I have some recycled wire. Um, when I started this project I just thought I will try and use just all recycled things. Um, because that's what Bonnie does. She, she sells a lot of recycled things. So I don't, I'm not sure where this bit of wire came from but I've had it sitting here in my craft room for a while in case I needed it. So I'm going to cut maybe, I don't even know if I can cut it with this. I might have to go and get Hubby's, um, Hubby's Big. I'm going to have to because that is... Uh, I think this is going to be a bit too hard for my little old hands. Yeah, it is. Um, I need some bigger wire cutters. Uh -huh. All right, I'm just back to finish off this one here. I had to go and cut. I've got some recycled wire here, and it's really, really thick. And <laughs> you should have seen me. I couldn't just use the like the tim snip the snippy things to cut it. I had to put it in the the cutting things and then whack it with the hammer because it was just so hard. So what I want to do is I want to join my head onto this styrofoam um, cone that I got at the op shop. So this is going to have to go up in there but I think I've got way too much paper shoved up there for a start. But I'm getting it. So wait there, hang on. Put some actually put some glue on it before I use the tape around it. So I've made just a little hole there. And I'm just trying to twist that in there. So I'm going to use the tape because I'm 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 still on blah 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 I'm 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 a I am um, I'm going it's going to be painted so I am going to just bring this down Just, hmm, hang on, I know what I can do. I have got some of that stuff that was in the box that she sent me. Oh, good idea, 99. Okay, so I've got a bit of this. I'll just cut a little bit off here. And what I can do is wrap that around I'll push that up there um, I'll get to cut a smaller piece and grab some tape and take that to the bit of wire And then wrap that around there. Okay, so I've got that much on there. Need another bit of tape. So 
so I'll just tape that there and just use a bit more just to taper it down at the side here. So that is going to be okay. Okay, so let's see how that is. And just wrap some more tape around this end here. And that really needs to be tapered in at the bottom there. Okay, that looks pretty good. So that's how I wanted that um, how I wanted it tapered down. I have got that down. I think you just see me um, taper the head down and I've put the wire up there. I think I actually done that off screen because I was having a bit of a hard time doing it. I'm not sure. I'll have to see the video. Oh, I'm getting hot. <laughs> so, and I got a bit heavy handed with this because I've already punched the hole in the top for where the head, um, the neck's going to go. And when I was pushing it down, I snapped the little top of it off, but that's okay. I fixed it. I just stuck a bit of washi tape on there. I'm going to paint that anyway. So, uh, just before I start painting, I was just having a look in my little jewelry finds box uh, because I wanted to see if I had some sort of rings. I've got these ones. I'm not sure if they're going to be too big. So I want to put, make a little ring thing up the neck. Um, see, that's going, that's going to be Oh, it should be all right because I'm actually going, I'll, I'll glue it up to the top and then just glue the individual pieces on. So I'll use these ones. And just see what they look like. Okay, so they're going to actually be glued on up under there. And just put it back in the hole before I glue it down. So I think they'll look okay under there. Those ones. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, all right, I've got that organized. I'll just pack these up and what I'm going to do now is just give it a paint with the black gesso. I've got some more jewelry that I can put on it later. So just get grab my black gesso. And I'm going to paint the head first. And 
and while I've got the black out I will also just give this a quick paint as well. Okay, need to let those dry. Just touch up the few spots down here where my fingers were. I'll let those dry and I shall come back. I've come on to do a bit more on my, my challenge for Bonnie and Clyde. And I've got the head all nice and dry and I've got the body all nice and dry. And I'm going to have to put that, plug that in. So just down here I've just put um, some paints like a purple, the blue with a bit of shimmer in it and the gold. And this is the red oxide and this one's dark turquoise. And I've got a couple of little sponges here that I'm going to use. So what I'm thinking of doing is just going and just dabbing some colour on all around the, the face and the body. Okay, so I might actually bring this one in first and because the red oxide is rather thick I just gave it a spray with the water Not sure how those shimmer, shimmery paints are going to go, but I'll just try. I'll just see and see what it's like. And I'm just going to keep going over and over this. Gold to go over the top of all the other ones. I think that's about it. For the face. Okay, so I'll just put that over there to dry. And I'm more or less just going to do the same with the body, even though you won't really see the body that much, but I I will know that it's done anyway. I don't think I put any purple on. Oh yes I did, a little bit. Okay, let that dry too. That looks pretty cool. So that's coming up really, really, really nice. So they just need to have a good dry now. Okay. And I shall get a book to get rid of the rest of this. It's still drying. I managed to glue those little rings together. So while this is drying with the paint, I'm going to put my, glue my rings on up there. I'm going to have to just hold that on there for a bit, just so that they glue in the right space where I want them. And I, can, I will be back. That looks so cool though. I like the colours. I've been walking around holding this 
<laughs> holding the head onto the neck and I just thought there's an easier way to do this I'm going to put it straight onto the body now so then the it'll be pressed down and it won't move in the hole I need a bit bigger hole in there because I want the neck, the um, the head to go down further. So I'm just going to use this and just make that hole a bit bigger. I wonder why that keeps pushing up. Something there stopping that from going all the way down. I've just got it on this angle so I can show you the finished art doll. I think it turned out really cute and this was the inspiration came from uh, Bonnie's mask so I used the shape of the mask and then just wrapped it round at the back. I have got a little bit of a boo-boo there, but that's okay. This was this first style art doll for me. And I put some chain on and gave her some, oh, some clothes. I used up, you would have seen me ripping up or cutting up the strips of material and I've just used the strips and gone down and zigzagged down each layer just to give her a nice little coat and just some fabric around that the cone that was at the bottom that I picked up at the op shop so there she is or he it <laughs> um, it turned out really cool. I really like it. Don't mind my messy table. So, yep, that's how it turned out. And I just love it. And those um, little, little ring, plastic ring things up there for her neck. I keep saying her, so. So there it is. Turned out rather good. And I've learnt a lot of things about what not to do with the neck. See, I, I ended up sticking my thumbnail in there after I'd finished painting it, but well, that's okay. Adds to her uniqueness. <laughs> okay, so that's one of the other things that I made with the inspiration from Bonnie sending me the mask. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, I'll catch you later.